Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay, well, that works. You see, you can tell that this game hasn't been like completely polished by stuff like that. Stuff like that is like key indicator as to the level of polish that a game has received. through this whole thing. And I don't see any hide nor hair of any sort of secret something. get knocked back a little bit like don't have this knockback meter have it knock back every attack have more heels in in each room have like some more white flowers or something just not very well balanced. Ooh. Day 10. Battle is taking its toll on the White Priestess of the Fount 2. Will truly be done for if she falls. Day 15. Say we best the Blighted. What happens then? What will my family make of me? This undying body of mine surely isn't so different from the Blighted. Hey, sounds like a personal problem. Rain is different here. Falls as a snow of death. Before it fell, this keep would have held the Blighted at bay. Too much health, too much stuff going on. Can you hit it? Thank you. The room ahead belongs to Sir Olv. He is quick to anger and difficult to reason with. Should you have business with him, approach only once you have inquired first with the Knight Commander. Shouldn't be a commander at all if he sits there and has trouble leading. This guy is a commander, but he's terrible at his job. Don't ever approach him, like, ask for anything because he's angry all the time. that freaking button can I please like, actually move oh my goodness. Uh, 
it could have just used a bit more polishing. Like, it's not a bad game, it's just incredibly lacking in polish. Use an ultimate attack where we don't hit anything. That guy just hanging around, huh? Just looking so forlorn. There he is. Nice luck. My goodness. <laughs> okay. So dang frustrating. Like, it's such a good game, and it's just gotta be so frustrating with 
all of the nonsense. The enemy spam, the, like, not being able to attack, janky dodges, all of it. It's a great game. Really need some work. Painter's Diary. Even up at the moment of her passing, my sister was smiling, cradling her son lovingly. She entrusted him to me, praying that he would live a normal life. Even though it goes against the code of the Dark Executioners, I already made up my mind. I will raise Julius. His future will be his to decide for himself. I will do all in my power to make it so. So everybody's future is in their own power. That's the problem. It's like, yes, there are cultural norms and even some what people would call forceful methods to get people to comply. But in the end, you don't have to comply. You're probably not going to live very long if you don't, but they, they can't force compliance. Goodness. Literally had it up to my ears with these stupid gargoyles. Like, if they had some way... ...of, uh... ...some way of, like changing the animations or like I guess the cooldown so that you could actually use dodges after attacks stuff like that like things that would actually balance the game make it a lot more fun I pressed. Freaking A. Why 
What's this doing there? I drank the elixir the sorcerer gave me. The rest is blank. Thirty. Thirty. jump. There we go. Ooh. Increases the SP gauge by one. SP gauge. Take a special attacks. I can't even try and up attack because if I do it wastes the You can tell that this game hasn't been like completely polished by stuff like that. Stuff like that is like key indicator as to the level of polish that a game has received. In your enemies fall and die in stupid ways. Now I know that in games even as polished as Elden Ring, yes, the enemies can indeed fall and die in stupid ways. The difference is the number of enemies that can do it. Like it's actually considered a cheese and an exploit if you find an enemy that can do that. Nope, nothing to do there. Every single room. Thank you. 
looks pretty good for me tonight. I don't see much need in going any further at the moment. Appreciate whoever it was that decided to join me, and I'll see you next time. I need to go either down and over. somewhere. What the heck? <laughs> it just this you know like appeared out of nowhere. get it. Play the game till you beat it, you know? Just give up because of its ridiculousness. Oh, I can't go... I can't go, um... down. I need to go up. Oh, 
Hold on. Get off. Oh, geez. A major reach there. Let's see. I wish uh, I could get a better understanding of, like, what's going on with my YouTube views and stuff like that. I have this, like, really weird situation where some of my videos are getting absolutely no views at all. When I normally can at least count on a few thousand views. how you handle this. Ah, uh, of course. Of course it would just, like, miss completely. the stupid button. Oh my goodness. I was trying to go into today like not worrying about complaining about the mechanics but like just some of these mechanics are not... Thanks for watching my video. Today we've been doing dumb stuff.